Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania Season 2015 and stage 4 of the Vuelta Ciclista Al Pais Vasco, from Sumaraga to Arrada in Ibar. And for the first time we actually have a finish uphill, which is really exciting because we can see the difference in strength. And it will also be a lot more difficult for me, in, if I'm correct, because uh, I can't use Simon Jevons' biggest asset, which is his strength in the sprint doesn't really come that much use when it ends uphill. That's why the race has been really easy for me so far because I just need to get in the front group and I can easily win the final sprint. This time I'm going to be struggling a lot more I think considering I'm up against some great hill riders in Contador, then Martin, Jorge Rodriguez, Will Costa and a lot of other riders as well. Let's try and do our best and hopefully we're gonna actually manage to snack home another victory for Simon Jones. Let's get into the stage. Okay last 15 kilometers and this race is looking to be really tough because Simon Jerrins, even though this was classified as a hill stage, he's really struggling on these climbs. They're too long and too steep. And looking at the last one, it's even longer than the ones I've been going over so far. It's going to be very difficult for Simon Jerrins here to get a good placement. I think I'm going to lose the jersey today to go to the door. Hopefully I can get a bad leg on. You the instant crashes. It doesn't matter too much. It's an auto anyway. Uh, and Brazil has been looking a lot better than Guarantee he probably will finish better as well just because he has better mount sets. Sam Jones of course only has 66 mount sets which isn't great at all at this point in the race. So I'm probably, once we reach the climb here in about 2 kilometers or so, that should be about 8-7 kilometer long climb which I'll classify as a mountain stage instead of a hill stage. And also all, all of these climbs have been pretty long in general. So I don't really know why this is classified as something else which annoys me a lot because I probably would have picked a different team to begin with but let's see hopefully we can hang on with Jones I'll try and put him on around 80 as uh, Simon and Adam Yates are both stronger uh, mountain riders than both El Pacino and Jerome so they should be able to s stay with him for a long time here seven climbs to go this is pretty much where the climb starts try and hang on our own pace here let's see where is Contador I'm looking for the white jersey, I think. I think it's still in the yellow jersey. I think Villamo is in the white jersey right now, the sprint jersey. Wherever Villamo is, he's in the white jersey all the way back here. And there goes Jorge Rodriguez. Two minutes after, Quintana as well as the climbers that's going out in front here. I still think I can, I might just push it up to around 85, 90, just because it isn't actually that long of a climb. And uh, maybe we'll just try and stay with the front group for as long as possible here. Especially Albacini seems strong today. Might be able to hang on for a long time. Jerome's at 90 is moving slower than most of this front group uh, altogether, so that's not that good in uh, in all actuality. But Contador is in ahead here with Rodriguez and Quintana, the three strongest. Uh, oh, I expected to be there as well. So that's a bit of a disappointment in him. But I can see Jerome has some energy left. It'll probably slowly overtake some riders here. I put, I'm, I stay at 90 here with Jarens. He'll probably lose about a minute or two here to the front, uh, front three over here. Let's see, we have still have Jorge Matrix. I think it's the only rider who managed to get away solo. Albacini is here. Put him on Contador's wheel. To get up with Quintana o. and then we have Pindu actually made it up as well. Mind is Hisedal. Then a big peloton here with Plaza actually managed to stay here for a long time. Some material is actually worse than Plaza, which is probably what to, to be expected. He's 10 stats worse as well. So it's not that big a surprise. But I was hoping. I'm hoping right now that ah, he's going to lose a lot of time here. I've seen he got in fourth. Place which uh, means he of course stays in top in top five, but I think this dropped uh, Summer Jones down to like sixth, seventh, eighth in total. Cameron Meyer is, like, is out of the race. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he got a bad crash or something like that. He was the one that crashed. I think it was Juliensen. So this one in total didn't end up working so well. Don't know if I should change my strategy to Albertini now. But he's too far behind Contador, in my opinion. So I don't know about that. Let's take a look at the new overall standings and then we can 
find out what we do afterwards. So with that result, all Kimmel Tigers ended up winning the state. Uh, Albertini did a great job coming in in the front group here I, with some riders who are a lot better than mounts than him. He has only 71 mounts, 78 hills. All the other guys are a lot stronger than mounts than him. Uh, let's see, we have Sam and Jones making a great effort coming in in this group here. Actually, still second overall. I'm, not, I'm pretty surprised looking at the riders here. I don't think there's many riders here who has less than 75 in mountains, apart from Simon Jones. He has 66. That's a lot of uh, improvement that uh, Simon Jones had to do to stay as high up in the rankings as it did. So we can still win it with Simon Jones. Everything is now up to third overall, two riders in the three. Oh, of course, can easily beat Albacini if he just finishes ahead of him because in this mode it's decided by who's the best rider. What I'm looking at now is time trial because the hill stays tomorrow. And Contador has 76 time trials, 75 polo versus my 70 73. So I need to gain about, let's see how long is it, 18 kilometers. That's he's probably going to win about 30 seconds to a minute on me. I need to get like a minute and a half, two minutes on this stage right here. And this one looks pretty tough as well. So it will be really exciting to see if we can do that tomorrow. So tune into that, but if you did enjoy this video, then please remember to leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you can get ready for tomorrow's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.